Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. This is part four in our series of installing SBS 2003 R2. In this video we'll look at installing the R2 technologies. Help us support and continue to make material like this available. If you find this video beneficial we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us improve what we currently provide. All donations, no matter how small, will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offerings. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au Where we left off last time was we had installed the premium components of SBS 2003. If you have a standard installation, then there was no requirement to install these components. So now we need to look at installing the R2 technologies. To commence this process, insert the R2 technology CD into the drive. Close the server management and have a look at the R2 technology setup splash screen. As you'll see, there are three components here installing Service Pack 2 for Exchange Server, installing Service Pack 2 for SharePoint. And then finally, installing Small Business Server 2003 R2. We simply step through this process as they are listed. So the first option that we need to install is Service Pack 2 for Exchange Server 2003. To do this, simply click on the option. And the installation of the service... The Service Pack Wizard will now commence. Simply select next to continue, agree to the terms and conditions, next you'll see a list of options, simply select next to continue because the program has already detected what needs to be taken place. However you can if you want change the settings but Normally, you just simply accept what's been presented and hit the next button. Once again, we get a summary of what's going to happen. Again, simply hit the next button to commence the installation of the service pack. Commence installation and the progress bar will be displayed down the bottom. Once the service pack is finished installing, simply click finish. It's always good practice normally the system after installing the exchange service pack. After the reboot, reinsert the CD, bring up the splash screen and select the installation of service pack 2 for SharePoint services version 2. Select yes to install this update. Accept the end user license agreement and the service pack will now install. When the service pack is completed, simply click OK to complete. Turn to the R2 splash screen and select the final option to install Windows Small Business Server 2003 R2. The initial splash screen will show you exactly what will be installed by this component. In this case it includes console version 3, net framework 2, Updates for Internet Explorer, Windows Server Update Services version 2, and a number of other updates. Simply click Next to continue. Once again, agree to the terms and conditions and press Next. You now have to choose a location where you wish to install the update services. 
that are a component of R2. You will normally need about six gigabytes of free space available on a drive, as well as at least one gigabyte on the boot drive. In this case, since I only have a single drive, I'll choose to install it all on the C drive. If you do not wish to use the update services, simply select No and select Next. Click Next to continue the process. The installation of the R2 components will now commence. Please note that there is no way that this process can be cancelled until its completion. When setup is complete, you will see the following screen. Please note that the update services is installed but has not yet been enabled. This will be done through the server management console. Press finish to complete the installation of the R2 technologies. As indicated, to apply the configuration settings, you've got to restart your server. Simply press OK to commence the reboot process. After successfully logging in to the small business server after the reboot, you're presented with the to-do list. This concludes part four of our series on the installation of small business server 2003 R2. At this stage, you now have a functional SBS 2003 installation. The next step is simply to configure all the services to allow network operation. Once again we would like to ask you to help us to ensure the material like this continues to be available free of charge. If you find this video beneficial we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us to improve what we currently provide. All donations no matter how small will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offerings. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au If you have any questions on the presentation of this video, please contact me directly via email robert at satinalliance.com.au Thank you very much for watching.